Russian air defense increasingly shoots down its aircraft in Crimea. Russian occupiers increasingly began to shoot down their own aircraft over the temporarily occupied Crimea. The reason for the increased frequency of friendly fire from Russian air defense was the growing tension due to constant attacks by Ukraine on Russian military targets on the peninsula. Fearing explosions, the Russian command ordered air defense crew commanders to respond to any threats despite the fact that the Russian friend-foe recognition system has problems. This was stated in the military movement of Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars, Atesh, writes Obozrevatel media outlet. Agents of the Atesh movement report that tension is growing among the occupiers in the Crimea due to constant missile attacks and UAV raids that threaten military installations. The top military leadership ordered air defense crew commanders to shoot down threats despite problems with the friend or foe target detection and recognition system. However, faced with constant missile attacks and UAV raids, commanders of air defense crews are forced to carry out target designation virtually in manual mode. Thanks to this, strikes often occur against their own air targets, the report noted. Thus, the 12th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment of the 31st Air Defense Division of the Russian Federation especially distinguished itself in this direction. Over the past few weeks, it shot down two military aircraft of the Russian occupiers. Recent Ukrainian strikes have increased pressure on Russian air defense systems and may be leading to Russian forces shooting down their own planes, the UK Ministry of Defense said earlier. It is noted an incident on March the 28th where a Crimean telegram channel reported that a Russian Sukhoi Su-27 jet had crashed over occupied Crimea after being shot down by its own forces. The UK Ministry of Defence added that the downing of the Su-27 and other similar events, if confirmed, likely highlights the lack of situational awareness and coordination among some Russian forces, while also highlighting the second-order impact of Ukrainian strikes. A huge fire has broken out at Copenhagen's 17th-century former stock exchange, one of the Danish capital's most famous landmarks, Engulfing the historic building's roof and toppling its distinctive spire, we are witnessing a terrible spectacle. The Bourse is on fire, the Chamber of Commerce, which occupies the building next to Christian's Board Palace, the seat of the Danish Parliament, wrote on X, everyone is asked to stay away. Culture Minister Jacob Engelschmidt said 400 years of Danish cultural heritage had gone up in flames. The fire is very violent and it is on every floor, Jacob Vedsted Andersen, the fire service's director of emergency management, told Denmark's public broadcaster doctor you just can't take it in. It's really raging. The flames are like 20 m high, he added. The Proviantha swing at Christiansborg, the nearby seat of Denmark's parliament, has been completely evacuated due to fears that it could be affected by flames and smoke. All meetings and hearings at the parliament have been cancelled with employees being told to stay at home. Copenhagen's fire services said that the building's copper roof was making fighting the fire especially challenging. The building, dating back to 1625, is a stone's throw from Denmark's parliament, the Folketing, and the royal palace, Christiansborg. Danish media said the nearby square was being evacuated, the old stock exchange was being renovated and had been shrouded in scaffolding and protective plastic covering. It currently houses the Danish Chamber of Commerce, which described the scenes on Tuesday morning as a terrible sight, local craftsman Henrik Grage told Danish TV that it was a tragic day. This is our Notre Dame, he said, comparing it with the fire that engulfed the roof and spire of the cathedral in the center of Paris in 2019. Passing residents joined emergency services. Yeah, it's a nice.